Are you ready? Peeps, how's it going today? I got some good news for the Mellow fans. I'm not talking Carmelo Anthony today. We are talking about LaMelo Ball. Now, for those of you guys who are not the biggest uh, LaMelo fan, I'm sorry. But this is good news for me because I really feel like the Pistons need this kind of star. And I'm going to break that down later on in the video. But for those of you guys who did not see my community post, which you guys need to hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss anything out that I post or upload or go live. You wanna do that so you get all Detroit Drew content you can possibly ask for. Now, on to business. <clears throat> Ed Stefanski, according to 97.1 The Ticket, has sent scouts to watch uh, the Ball Brother play. And I love this because not, I don't think too many people um, would be doing as much international scouting as the Pistons are. I think a lot of couple teams have hit the home run ball. You know, you think, you think of Giannis and uh, Siakam and Luka. And, I mean, I could be here all day naming uh, these foreign players who are becoming the, some of the stars of the league. I think that the NBA as a whole was moving in this direction. But the thing that's unique about this is LaMelo isn't a foreign player. He is American. He's just playing overseas right now. We really haven't seen too much of that uh, really translate in the NBA where they play almost their entire career overseas he played a little bit in high school but for the most part he's been playing over there that's where the that's where grown men play he's been playing as grown men since what he's 16 this is this is huge for the pistons to even have him on the radar because it solidifies me that the pistons are doing whatever it takes to get a point guard and you know it doesn't mean they're going to have the fortune of getting him and i don't want to spend an entire offseason hyping up the pistons and lamello because there's a shot we might not get him but here's my here's my thing, and it's totally different than the Lions. You know, with the Lions, they needed to have a poker face that you know they could trade down because really they don't need a quarterback. They have Stafford. Here with the Pistons, we don't have our quarterback. We don't have our point guard. Yeah, Derrick Rose is nice, but to have a full year with a young point guard like Lamelo, who has, is going to have a lot of potential, to have a full year with Derrick Rose in his ear, showing him what to do, what he did wrong, and what he can do to get better, would be huge for his improvement. But what I mean is the Pistons can move up to get him. Say somebody like Atlanta, who has Trey Young, is in that position where LaMelo is, they might take him because, I mean, him and Trey Young, that would be nasty. But maybe the Atlanta Hawks would be more willing to trade down and get an extra draft pick or something from the Pistons. So, I mean, we're still a ways away from the draft lottery, so we don't really know exactly where we are going to be come uh, trade, not trade deadline, but <laughs> uh, draft day. Um, but LaMelo can change the franchise. It, it's just, we need a player like this, whether if it's LaMelo or not. Certainly, I do like LaMelo. But we need this young star. We haven't had one since Grant Hill. And I love the old four Pistons, but they never had that star, you know. And stars is what gets you on uh, TV outside of Fox Sports Detroit. You're getting a lot more ESPN and TNT. I mean, look at look at John Morant and Zion. When NBA was on, they were on every week. It seemed like with the Pistons, we need this. I mean, people will be hopping on the Pistons bandwagon if you want went out and get ball because you'd have ball you'd have christian wood if you re-signed him blake griffin and derrick rose people around the nba love blake griffin and derrick rose so people already kind of go to watch the pistons when they're in town for those two people but then you add christian wood and, and lamello people are going to start hopping on the pistons bandwagon and they're really going to start making some noise the pistons need this in the worst possible way so for ed stefanski to come out and say that they are scouting him and that they have sent scouts over i believe in australia to watch him play it's huge to me. It's absolutely huge because that, that means they were watching him before they decided to blow it up. So they might have even been thinking about trading up to get him anyway. 
And if his stack, uh, his value falls, his stock and his draft falls, the Pistons might be sitting pretty, 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 pretty. Is that the right way to say? I don't know. I'm getting ready for the round table. I'm already pre-gaming that one. I've already had a couple. So uh, be sure to go over there tonight on Michael Mike's channel. But what does this, what does this show you guys? What does this tell you guys about as the fan scheme? To me, it, it shows he's doing his homework. Lamelo might not be a fit for the Pistons, but at least he's doing his due diligence and scouting people across the world. And it's kind of at this point you have to you have to broaden the uh, the scope and find people later in the draft. So far, I've liked what the Pistons have done in the draft under the Estefanski and Dwayne Casey era. I like Bruce Brown. I like Tyree Thomas's potential if he can stay healthy. I like Sekou. I like Jordan Bone. Uh, Debitus Sabitus. We'll have to wait and see with that one. But I'm liking what the Pistons are doing so far. But I guess leave it down in the comments on how you guys feel. Instagram, Twitter, DSC numbers in the description. Uh, Above the Rim will be on JMO's channel this week. We're shooting for like 3 p.m., so stay tuned for that one. But head over to Michael Mike's channel after the video and uh, get ready for that roundtable because we got a very good one over there. So I'll see you guys later tonight. Peace.